My name is Jeremy Carden, I'm the trailer salesman here at CRT. Sitting behind me, undergoing its final stages of PDI and fit out, is TRT's brand new all steering mini quad deck widener. By far one of the biggest advantages of this trailer is its all steering nature. So if you come with me, I'll give you a brief description about how that steering system works. Uh, basically how it all starts is that you have the skid plate arrangement here, fits into your truck's fifth wheel. Uh, then we have a large wedge plate at the back here. Basically once you've fitted it up, you then need to tighten up the wedge plate so the arms of the wedge fit snug into the back of your fifth wheel. And then basically as your truck turns at a different angle, that angle is picked up by the large double bull race here. It shifts either left or right, and that shift and angle is translated down the steering tie rod arm, down to our linkage here that leads from the top deck down to the main deck, and then sends it back to the quad axle set. Uh, basically it pivots between axles one and two with a max steering angle of about 26 degrees at axle four. These Tridec linkage systems are capable of getting up to about 30 degrees on these quad trailers. However, we limited the steering at about 25, 26 on axle four, which gets the most steer angle. Um, and then what that meant is that we could basically maintain as much as possible TRT's iconic long beaver tail. It's something that's not really seen that much in the other steering quads um, throughout, the, throughout the industry, um, in Australia and New Zealand, but keeping that, that long beaver tail Coupled with these 3.3 meter long single fold ramps, it basically gives the operator a better loading angle than if he was using some 4 meter bifolds. This first all steering mini quad deck widener from TRT is going to a customer, Chris Robinson, uh, also owner of Robinson Earth Moving over in Coffs Harbour. Chris Robinson owns around 100 to 115 pieces of cat and Hitachi construction machinery, and this trailer basically will be used on the bypass over the next two years delivering plant back and forth from one end to the other, and hence the, the short nature and the all steering abilities of this trailer will really come in handy for him and his team. This is the fifth trailer we've built for Chris Robinson. Uh, with this new build, one of the key safety features that Chris wanted to include uh, was the ramp auto tensioner system. Basically, it operates via a maxi pot mounted into each of the ramps, and then via an air toggle down here with the idea that the ramp will stay under tension the whole time, whether there's air or no air supplied, um, and then to basically take the tension off the tensioner and release them to lower your ramps, you basically just flick the air toggle switch mounted on each of the ramps. Uh, the Mini Quad is very versatile. It has an ATM of 51 uh, ton and a group, uh, group axle mass rating of 36, um, so that can easily get up to that sort of that 35 ton uh, single piece loads, and it can also do divisible loading um, right back to that, so that, that 19 meter mark. Um, she's been mounted with 10 ship locks flush mounted into the deck so she can take one 40 footer, two 20s or a heavy mid 20. With a confirmed tear weight of 14.5 tonne and an ATM of 51 and a group axle mass of 36, this trailer will easily accommodate your 30 to 35 tonne class single piece machines and she can do up to 27 tonne with divisible loading. To make full use of the trailer's top deck TRT has fitted some high tensile uh, top deck access ramps. They are basically mounted underneath the top deck here and accessed via these little drop down hatches at the back. Um, once pulled out, the two meter long ramps can be fitted to any width along the top deck here and your utes and small machines can easily get up and sit up there where they're out of the way and you can load right through. Like a lot of our trailers that are bound for Australia, this one's been fitted with our heavy duty 12 mil conveyor belt rubber. Uh, what we try and do with this is we try and leave the last uh, sort of three to three and a half metres of the rubber unrestrained. That gives track machinery the ability to get up over the beaver tail apex, slap down and then adjust their tracks to centre before driving forward. And because it's unrestrained, it doesn't tear off and make a big mess. It lasts the test of time. We also go ahead and fit these specially pressed heavy duty stainless steel cup washers along with a full stainless bolt kit. Just like all of our other TRT quad deck wideners, this trailer is no exception. It has been fitted with our double acting hydraulic suspension. Uh, what the system does, it gives the operator the ability to isolate any individual axle set. As it is a deck widener with fixed axle beams, that means the controls are all on the same side as the main control manifold. Basically, the operator can either lower the trailer right down, lock off the axle set with a single lever here under the valve cover, um, and then raise the trailer back up to ride height. Alternatively, they can lock off the other three axles that they do not want to move and leave the axle unlocked that they do want to move and that way they can actually hydraulically drive it up um, right off the ground for good ground clearance. 
So if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you on the other side of the trailer a bit more of the inner workings of our double acting hydraulic suspension set. Just like our other quad deck widers, they do not have this mechanical linkage steer system. We've tried to maintain our same three points of geometry for the suspension set with the suspension arm coming forward off the axle beam. What this does is that it, it helps us achieve a, a great uh, suspension stroke of about 185 mil. Doesn't sound like much, but when you compare it to other mini quads on the market that are only achieving a suspension stroke of about 130, this 185 mil suspension stroke gives you great ground clearance when you're dealing with a trailer that has a split quad group spacing over about 4.9 meters. Load restraints are a key of any uh, successful low loader, and this trailer is no exception. What we did for this customer is he wanted to have a swivel type of main 10 ton uh, load restraint, and that's what we have here, this 10 ton swivel type right down the coming rails. We also took it one step further. I'd like to come over here and have a good look at this, taking the concept of a decent drain hole to the next level with this load restraint. Basically what we've done is you've got your 10 tonner out here, uh, and then underneath we've turned the, the drain hole into a crow's feet with both an eight mil chain provision and a 10 mil chain provision, giving the customer a lot of uh, scope with that one load anchorage. Uh, we also fitted a series of load binder tie, uh, tie downs on the inside of the spine here. Basically what that does is it allows the operator to lay down conveyor, dunnage, brooms and shovels, and then throw a strap over without having to widen trailers, which has always been a pain in the past. Some of the other non-structural key features of this trailer include polished alloy water tank, removable headboard with work lights on quick connects. We've got five toolboxes, including this large flush mounted index toolbox for all the customers' chain binders. Uh, we've got electronic lift and lower legs. We've got Michelin tires throughout the trailer and we've got chrome polished alloy rims along with alloy rims on the inner. This removable container pedestal mount serves a few purposes on top of the all steering mini quad. The first one is to support the rear of a front loaded 20 foot unit or to support the rear of a 40 foot container. Um, and lastly, it's also been designed to help support uh, lattice boom sections of crawler cranes that are often used on the Cough City Bypass. To add to the versatility of the trailer, TRT has built the customer some um, additional plug-in light boards. These are designed to fit into slots up on the tips of the ramp so that when the customer lays the ramps flat for some awkward machines with booms that go out the back, um, he can then drop these in, uh, lock them in place, plug them into light sockets up on the ramps um, and then be road legal. So a huge thank you to Chris, Tyra Lee and the whole team at Robinson Heavy Haulage. Thank you very much for letting TRT once again make it possible for you. So if you want to take your transport to the next level with a TRT all-steering mini quad deck widener, call us today.